All right, question of the week, Inblex review number seven. The question is, which one of the following is not a synovial joint? Which one of the following is not a synovial joint? Is it going to be A, the glenohumeral joint, B, the acetabulofemoral joint, C, the sternoclavicular joint, or D, the manubrial sternal joint? Which of the following is not a synovial joint? So I'll give you a few moments to work on this one. If you need some more time, just go ahead and pause the video, and then we'll go ahead and head over to the explanation. All right, so let's go ahead and cover this. Which of the following is not a synovial joint? Is it the glenohumeral joint, acetabulofemoral joint, sternoclavicular joint, or manubrial sternal joint? So we need to take a look at these different joints to see which one is not a synovial joint. The very first one we have is the glenohumeral joint. This is a ball in socket joint where the head of the humerus meets the socket of the glenoid cavity of the scapula. Now this is a synovial joint, which is also known as a diarthrotic joint. So this is not the correct answer. So let's check out B, the acetabulofemoral joint. This is where the head of the femur meets the socket of the acetabulum on the pelvis. This is also a synovial joint, more specifically a diarthrotic joint. So this one is also not correct. Let's take a look at the sternoclavicular joint. This is where the clavicle, the convex shape of the clavicle, meets the concave surface of the manubrium or sternum. This is known as a saddle joint, also known as a synovial joint, which is a diarthrotic joint. So again, sternoclavicular joint is not the correct answer. The correct answer here is D, the manubrial sternal joint. So let's take a look at it. The manubrial sternal joint is where the manubrium and the sternum meet. So right here on this joint, it is a synarthrotic joint. That means it is immovable. There is no movement at this joint, meaning that it is not a synovial joint. It does not have a capsule around it. It does not have synovial fluid in it. It is just a synarthrotic joint that is immovable. Make sure you know the different types of joints. It is very important that we understand these before we head over to the Imblex. Keep in mind that the Imblex is gonna have 12% of anatomy and physiology, so it is likely that you're gonna see materials like this on the Imblex. If you need a little more help understanding this, I have another video. Go ahead and click on the link of synarthrotic, amphiarthrotic, and diarthrotic joints. Also, it talks about the six different types of synovial joints. Make sure you check that out as well. Y'all have a wonderful week ahead, and I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all take care.